In May of 2022, my sister and I set out on a day trip from Raleigh, North Carolina to visit some unique attractions in a couple of nearby towns. Our first stop was in Rocky Mount for some essential coffee and food from Nab's Deli and Coffee Shop. The family who owns and operates Nab's has been in the restaurant business since 2013. I certainly enjoyed my iced coffee and delicious Reuben and can confirm that their mission translates into their food. After our much needed food and drink stop, we continued on to Scotland Neck, North Carolina. Our destination was the Sylvan Heights Bird Park. Starting out as a breeding center, it was established in 1989 by the Lubick family in an effort to breed rare waterfowl from around the world. In 2006, the center shifted to a bird park as an effort to bring education opportunities to the public and increase conservation efforts, and now receives over 55,000 visitors each year. They house birds ranging from the very small and young to the big and old. It takes roughly about two hours to see the whole park. My personal favorite exhibit of the park is the Parakeet House, where for $1.50 you can feed parakeets till your heart's content. Although be prepared for your shoes, ankles, jewelry, and whatever else you're wearing to be nibbled on by these curious little feisty feathery guys. After we finished at the Sylvan Bird Park, we headed to Wilson, North Carolina with a quick stop in Tarboro, North Carolina along the way for some tasty drinks at the Tarboro Coffee House. Then we continued on to Wilson. Our first stop in this interesting little town was the Wilson Rose Garden. This garden is maintained by local volunteers from the Rose Garden Deadhead Society and the City of Wilson Recreation Department year-round, and you are free to enter and wander through the garden. They feature over 1,200 rose bushes with 180 different varieties, and you'll find something blooming almost any time of the year. It was a very pretty and peaceful stop in our busy itinerary for the day. Our final sightseeing stop for the day was the Wilson Whirly Gig Park. These massive, unique moving sculptures were created by Wallace Simpson, who began making these giant kinetic sculptures from recycled industrial parts at his family farm in Wilson County when he was nearing retirement age and continued to work on them 24-7 until about six months before he died at the age of 94. These sculptures have gained national fame and draw a big crowd every year. Across the street from the park, you'll find a small one-room museum and gift shop that shows and tells more details of how these sculptures came to live where they are now. The town also hosts an annual festival in November dedicated to these funky sculptures. After finishing at the Whirly Gig Park, we made one more food stop on the way home at Wayback Burgers for some good burgers and shakes. 
Altogether, this was a fun day trip from Raleigh, and I highly recommend it if you're wanting to explore more of North Carolina's unique small towns. You can find more information about these attractions and the route we took in the description below.